what are your thoughts on the goalkeeping crisis? Uh, well, goalkeeping crisis, I wouldn't quite put it like that, but it would be true to say that we are struggling a little bit in the goalkeeping department. Um, as a coach, I like to have two keepers who can work off each other. Uh, they sort of bounce off each other, sort of encourage each other, if you like. Um, it's always a not, it's always a, a, a difficulty trying to get established goalkeepers. So crisis maybe not be the wrong word, but it can be a concern to me. Uh, if you did bring another keeper in, would, would you take that straight away or would you? No, I'd have to look at them basically. I mean, if another keeper comes in, they'd want to look at me as a coach and what I have, have to offer, and I'd want to look at them, what they have to offer. And if I feel that maybe they might be better, strong, stronger in certain departments than the previous keepers that we've got already, then it would possibly then I'd speak to the manager and say, well, perhaps this one might be better tried in a game. And ultimately, it's the manager's decision who he plays. So, do you think, obviously, at the minute, Chester are faulted a little bit? Do you think there's just a few minor issues, or do you think it's... No, I think it's a good question, but I actually think sometimes there's a little bit of complacency creeps in. Uh, at the start of the season, we were winning games handsomely by double figures at one point. Uh, and then, for some reason, whatever it was, complacency, uh, injuries, lack of members in the squad, we, we just seemed to switch off, and games we should have been winning, we were losing. Uh, which culminated in a very heavy defeat at Withenshaw against a team we scored 11 past and we got 10 put past us, although we were down to 10 men for the bulk of the second half through injury. Uh, so really, I think I think a lot of it is complacency, actually. Thanks. Thanks for that.